About three years ago, I was renting a home and I received a letter that said I had 30 days to vacate. So they were selling the premises that I was living at and I had 30 days to find a new home, save a bond, you know, this wasn't something that I was planning for. I realised that it could be so easy for anyone to become homeless. Homelessness is a massive issue on the Central Coast. Um, there's no one reason and I don't think there's one like fix either. There's such a range of um, injuries, um, obviously drug and alcohol abuse, mental health, um, domestic violence. So there's no quick fix. What we aim to do is just provide a little bit of relief. Every day I see homeless people. Every day I see people who are either in temporary accommodation, living in their cars, um, living rough, living in their friends' cars, living on their friends' couches. We just wanted to do something in our own backyard, so we scrounged around our houses, found hotel toiletries and soups that we were never really going to eat, scarves that we hadn't worn for ages, and we just grabbed some shoeboxes out of our cupboards and built eight shoeboxes. We took four to Coast Shelter and we took four to Mary Max. And it was just a really great feeling that like we just thought this could be a thing. Shoebox Revolution aims to provide people with a bit of relief, warmth, food and just hope um, that someone out there does care. The benefits of receiving a shoebox are so much more than just physical. You know, these people are receiving something that can make them feel a little more human by, you know, cleaning themselves up, brushing their teeth, but it's also about giving them a bit of hope and helping them to understand that there are people that care for them, even though they're feeling quite low at that time. We've had recipients actually cry because they've got a new pair of socks in their care package, you know. Something like that to your eye we take for granted, just having a nice clean pair of socks. It's hard, I don't think there are many pathways for the community to be able to help homeless people. Like, I was thinking about it and thinking, how does the community help homeless people? What, they invite them home? To be able to provide a pathway for people to help, and this is one of the things that Rebecca and Sheridan do so beautifully, is they, they provide a way that people can contribute to help make things better. So the process of uh, making a care pack is um, we receive donations from the community via our big yellow bins you've probably seen in local businesses. Um, so a person like you and I drops an item into the bin, we collect the bins, we bring them back to our office, we sort them and then we pack them into individual shoeboxes which we then distribute across the Central Coast. The main passion behind Shoebox Revolution is just really want to teach our next generation about generosity and caring for others, doing something for someone else for no apparent reason. You know, that was our main driver is, you know, we've both got young kids and we just really wanted to show them and lead by example. And the other part was just wanting to give back to our community. We've lived on the coast for a long time, so it just felt like time to do something for our community. Shut the fuck up!